Jeff Chandler for the events calendar. Today we're going to provide an overview of the various widgets that are available to use. Starting with WordPress 5.8, widgets in WordPress are converted into blocks. This is part of a transition from traditional WordPress and the future. Depending on the theme, widgets that are converted into blocks are able to exist outside of the sidebar. For the purpose of this guide, we'll stick to using and configuring widgets slash blocks in the sidebar. You'll find events calendar widgets available in both the events calendar and events calendar pro. Browse to appearance and widgets to access the screen in your WP admin to access and configure them. Now, when you visit this page for the first time, you should see an informational modal pop up that explains the transition between blocks and widgets. After that, you'll see a page that looks like this. You may see a couple of widgets already added in. You don't have to worry about those. And the first widget we're gonna look into is called events list. The events calendar comes with one widget, the basic events list widget. You can give the widget a custom title and it allows you to show anywhere between one and 10 events. There is also a setting to only show the widget when there are events present. When checked, this will hide the widget when there are no upcoming events. This widget displays the title of the event with a link and the date and time. And as you can see here, I've already added the events list block. You can add a title. You can show between one and 10 events. You can also set what you would like to display. So we'll click on price, venue, and city. And down here, you have a couple of different filters. You can select a taxonomy term if you'd like. And here's the checkbox setting where you can hide the widget if there are no upcoming events, that's pretty handy. And then you also, can limit this to featured events only. So what we're gonna do now is we'll click update and we'll take a look at what this looks like on the front end of the website. And as you can see here in the sidebar, we have a list of upcoming events. You can see the time, the name, and the location, the city where they're going to be taking place. There are some widgets that are exclusive to the events calendar pro. They are highly customizable both in the widget settings and via CSS modifications. With a bit of code, you can style these widgets to fit your theme. The events calendar widget creates a mini grid calendar in your sidebar. Days with events are darker and show a dot. The current month is clearly labeled in the widget's header. Readers can view your events in the future or past months using the Ajax navigation at the top of the calendar. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna click the plus sign to add a block, I'm gonna type in event and we have event calendar here and this will load in and now we can give it a title we could show number of events below the widget calendar again you can select a taxonomy term and the listed events are linked to the individual event pages now if you choose to show no listed events the calendar date will link to a day view showing those events if you do not enter a title on the widget admin page none will appear when viewing the widget on the front end so again, let's click update and we'll take a look at how this looks on the front end. So looking at my sidebar here, there we go. You see the events calendar. We have navigation arrows right here. We have events and we have the dots that indicate when those events are taking place. You can display events happening this week with the events by week widget. You can display the events happening during the current week in horizontal or vertical layouts. The widget can show up to 10 events per day. Also, it incorporates a category specific filter that allows you to pull from one given category instead of the full events list. So what we're going to do now is add the widget, type in event, which will show all of the widgets that are available to use. We're going to click on the events by week. We're going to click inside here and as you can see, you can add a title. The layout option, you can do vertical or horizontal. Again, you can select up to five events for the day. You can also select a taxonomy term. So we'll give this a title events by week. Click save. And we'll look at that on the front end of the website. And as you can see, when the widget is added in a horizontal fashion, you can see right here, you can view the calendar. And that's what the widget looks like on the front end. You can use the events countdown widget to count the days until a special event. Select an event to showcase and the widget shows a countdown in your sidebar. You control the title, time increments, and what message to display when the start time of the event is reached. So I've already added the widget in the back end to the sidebar. Let's give it a 
title of event countdown. We'll count down to the next upcoming event. This uh, the text. This is what will be displayed when the countdown is reached. You can also show seconds or not. So let's click update and take a look at what this widget looks like on the front end of the website. And here you see down below, we have the event countdown. The next event is here, it's linked to. And again, you can just keep these three values and there's an option where you could show or hide the seconds. It's a pretty nifty way to show your visitors when the next event is coming up. You can show a list of events from one venue using the featured venue widget, which displays the upcoming events for a particular venue. You can edit the title and choose how many events to show. Also, you can opt to have the widget not show if there are no upcoming events. As you can see, I've already added this to the sidebar. We'll give it a title of Featured Venue. And from the list here, we can search or we can add. And I'll just keep it there at Anderson Arena. We'll show up to three and we can hide this widget if there are no upcoming events. So let's click Update and we'll take a look at how that looks on the front end. And here you see the featured venue shows Anderson Arena, provides the details for that venue. And it also shows another event as well. You can also click the view more link and that'll take you here to that event and upcoming events. If you want to customize any of the events widgets, check out the customizing section of the knowledge base and in particular, our article on styling widgets. If you need further help, you can always head to our help desk to get support. Good luck.